In this video, I'm gonna teach you aircraft weight and balance in plain English. So in this video, M0 Nation, we're gonna dive into weight and balance. I'm not gonna go number by number with you and everything else. That's something we do inside the online ground school. You can access that in the private pilot course there. What I wanna do here instead is explain weight and balance. Think back to yesterday's video. Did your mind instantly go, when we're talking Emory Flight uh, 17, did you instantly go, oh, uh, they have a CG issue. They thought they had a CG issue, right? They thought maybe everything slid to the back and that's what was causing the issue. It was really a maintenance issue. So it brings up the topic of center of gravity. What really is center of gravity? Center of gravity is if your aircraft was like a Christmas ornament, it's where it would actually perfectly hang from. You can demonstrate CG by taking something like a pen and you can find the C that's not the CG of that pen. You can find the CG of a pen, no, no, by almost, by where it balances. That's what the center of gravity actually is. Your aircraft, of course, has a center of gravity, and where that center of gravity is located greatly affects the aircraft's stability. How, you ask? Well, let me show you real quick. Here is gorgeous 23 Mike Zulu, the prettiest 172, but I have a very strong bias. Today our CG is where that big red star is, right? Uh, just barely between the pilot, uh, but not quite back to the baggage compartment. A nice forward CG, and that's actually a real CG is more so like right underneath you, the pilot, is where it typically lives. Now, with that CG, measure the distance from our CG, center of gravity, all the way back to our tail. Why measure all the way back to our tail, you say? Well, if I was to get into a spin, which I really would prefer not to be in, if I was to get into a spin, the most important thing I need is back here on my tail, my rudder. When I need to break a stall, the most important thing I need is back here on my elevator. When I have a long arm, to give you a weight and balance word, a distance from my CG back to my tail, I have greater leverage. You see, a forward CG is like taking a pair of pliers and using the pliers exactly how you're supposed to, grabbing back here, not grabbing up here, trying to do the same thing, or taking a hammer and holding it like you're supposed to, or having an aft CG, is more like doing this and trying to hit the same nail. Let me show you again here. So this is our forward CG, but let's do an aft CG now. If I take that same CG and I put it back by the baggage compartment, my distance from my CG back to my, back to what I want, back to my rudder, back to my tail, back to my elevator, that distance is so much shorter. Giving this tool, right, it's no different, giving this tool back here less authority, less leverage. When you have an aft CG, you're trying to build a house holding the hammer like this, or trying to loosen something holding the pliers like this. That's what happens when I have an aft CG. This is why you hear myself and your instructor saying a forward CG is more stable. And you're saying, okay, a forward CG is more stable. Why is a forward CG more stable? A forward CG is more stable because I have a longer arm giving me greater authority or greater leverage, thus making my rudder and my elevator more effective. You ever flown an airplane and run out of rudder? Wind may be a big factor of that, but so could your CG. You ever had less elevator authority than you thought you should? It could be related to a lot of things, weight, but it could also be related to CG. Why is a forward CG more stable? Because you have greater leverage in everything that you do. Now, I know there's someone that's saying, yes, but an aft CG is faster. An aft CG has a higher cruise speed because it's less tail down force. You think, great, but can I tell you the data on that? 
An FCG, yes, it's faster. Two or three knots faster. Is two or three knots worth a lack of full elevator control, like Cessna or Piper or Cirrus designed their airplane to have full elevator control or full rudder control? I'll go two or three knots slower to make sure I have full control of my aircraft. Yes, a forward CG is a little bit slower. This is why when loading the airplane, right? When Magda and I are going, we're flying with the kids and I don't know who packs more, Ella and Gavin or Magda, I'm not, I'm not sure. They're both professional packers. I load the airplane, putting the lightest things in the baggage compartment and I put the heaviest things forward. It's important. Sometimes when you wanna fly with a family, and oh, I really want my son to fly, but it's the dad wants to go too now, and the dad has been to the gym a lot and is a solid 300 pounds. You cannot put his 60 pound son or daughter uh, in the front seat and you know 300 pounds of muscle, I'm sure, dad in the back seat. That's gonna give you a wild aft CG. You can do this on paper. You can do this on most apps nowadays as well, but it's so important to see that know your aircraft and please, please, please fly within the weight limits, but also fly within the center of gravity limits as well. Hey, I hope you are loving the 31 day safer pilot challenge. You're 16 for 16 now. That's assuming you've watched the previous other 15 videos. If not, go catch up and check in below that you're 16 for 16. Have a blessed, amazing, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see ya. So you're loving the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. Hey, will you do us a huge favor? Will you just throw this video a thumbs up on YouTube, on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, like and follow MZRA on Facebook, and really wherever you're watching this. This not only helps us, it helps future aviators find us as well. And if you are finding value in MZRA.com, I know you can throw it a share as well and just maybe share this message with somebody who truly needs to hear this. 2022 is going to be our safest year in aviation yet and starts with us.